rolling hills, luxurious lakefront homes, and championship golf. For some, Fairfield Glade Resort community near Crossville is a dream come true. But what you don't hear about in the sales pitch are the many lot owners who say they got suckered. Knowing what I know now, I would not buy a lot in Fairfield Glade. Mort Smithson of Nashville bought his lot 12 years ago. Now he can barely find it. I'm trying to think where I go right or left here. Like thousands of other lots in the southern end of Fairfield Glade, there is no paved road to his land. It's never had water, sewer, or electric. It would be way down there in the bottom. They told me that they were building in excess of 150 to 200 homes a year. But not in the southern end where he bought. I got one where to get two. Where property values are taking a nosedive. One where to get two, now two, yes, two. Selling dirt cheap at auction. Last call, anybody else? What? Right down here, two hundred dollars. I paid about sixty-eight hundred. It's worth maybe five hundred, according to what these realty companies are telling me. It's all they can get out of it. How did so many people's hopes and dreams turn into paradise lost? As you'll hear this week, they failed to read the fine print. No hidden cost. They put their faith in a sales pitch that could have been misleading, perhaps even illegal. It's the worst investment I ever put my money into. Fairfield Glade is 12,700 acres, bigger in area than Cincinnati. The newly developed northern end is a picture postcard. Marinas, big homes, utilities for nearly every lot. But in the southern end, where thousands of people bought quarter-acre lots in the 70s and 80s, it's mostly woodland. Lots owned by families who were mass-mailed invitations for a free vacation if they took a sales tour. You know, it was just like being in the mountains. It was beautiful. Al Wayne Allison of Knoxville and her husband hoped to retire to Fairfield Glade. But 23 years after they bought their lot in the southern section, it still had no utility. It's just worthless as far as I'm concerned, you know. It's just... As they waited for water and sewer, their lives took an unexpected turn. Her husband died of cancer. When he became sick, uh, we started trying to sell it. The lot didn't sell. And then the next year, more bad news. There's still some in spine also? Yes, ma'am. Alwyn Allison has incurable bone cancer. Well, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I thought maybe I'd live a year, you know. So I just was wanting to get rid of it, and I could use the money for it. So mm -hmm. if it's, you know, she if wants it's to settle. settle her affairs, get rid of a lot so it's not a burden to her heirs, paying taxes on the land and $54 every three months in community club fees. There's no way I'll ever get all the money I've invested, you know. Why didn't the developer put in utilities as lot owners claim they were promised? No one from Fairfield Communities, that's the Little Rock company that owns Fairfield Glade, would talk on camera. But in a statement, the company writes that it is under no obligation to extend sewer services. In fact, it's all here in red, black, and white. This is a disclosure document buyer's sign. It clearly says, we do not guarantee paved roads and there is no assurance there will be sewer lines. Did you know that there's fine print on the inside of that contract? You know, I just never read all that stuff. So once you sign it, you're in big trouble. You're in trouble. It, it, your legal position is not strong, I'm afraid. Reed Brogdon is the attorney for the Tennessee Real Estate Commission. They enforce a state law that says it's illegal to make misrepresentations about real estate. The commission recently dismissed seven complaints against Fairfield Glade, saying it would be hard to prove what, if anything, people were promised in a sales pitch 25 years ago. Get your promises in writing. Understand the documents that you sign. Al Wayne Allison wasn't a savvy real estate investor. Like thousands of hardworking Americans, she put her money down on the American dream, the promise of paradise. Didn't turn out that way. Like my husband used to say, as a sucker born every minute. <laughs> we were suckers. That's what we were. Not realizing it at the time.